Lindsay here now with a quick check of our weather. Yeah, our cold November continues another chilly night. Our average temperature for the month so far running six and a half degrees below average. That no surprise and the air is cold. We only got to 44 today. Our average high temperature would have us at 56, but we're back down into the 30s. Sub freezing to the north and west and then we have that strong northeasterly wind flow. Wind chill temperatures down into the 20s already. Storm scan three showing us generally quiet conditions. Conditions cloud deck though starting to increase in advance of our coastal low looking very well developed off the southeast coast. It will continue to move its way up to the northeast and pass offshore, but it will provide some direct and indirect impacts to the area as we head into the day tomorrow and Monday. That being that strong northeasterly wind flow, so that cold air off the cold Atlantic Ocean, cloudy, damp, and chilly area wide. But the direct impacts are going to be concentrated along the coast where we could see moderate to major flooding. So a coastal flood warning goes into effect 8 a.m. tomorrow, runs until 5 p.m. on Monday. During those high tides, widespread flooding is likely. Roads, quite a few of them may become impassable and we could see some damage even to some vulnerable structures. So of course, never leave your vehicle in an area that is flood to proning and never prone to flooding and never drive into flooded roadways. As we head into the next 24 to 48 hours, our temperatures are going to be on the very cold side. Could even see a few light showers overnight closer to the coast with even a few sleep pellets mixed in. As we head into the morning hours, clouds in place and heading out to brunch, you're going to need all that winter weather gear. Temperatures only in the mid to upper 30s. As we head into the afternoon, cloudy and cold with a few sprinkles around. Temperatures continue to struggle. As we head into Monday, our better chance for some areas of light rain on and off throughout the day, especially I-95 and points eastward for the first half of the day. Then we could see some light precip working its way far north and west and even the possibility of some freezing rain in the higher elevations as we head late into Sunday night and Monday morning. So it's going to be dreary cold over the next couple of days, but we're back up into the 50s by Tuesday and then some more improvement by Thursday. We'll be right back.